What is going on guys? My name is Fred Golden Gate. Today we're going to play Sanctifier in Vec in Modern Burn. Let's get into it. So first thing first, I want just want to make a little apology because I didn't release a lot of videos lately because I was moving out. As you can see in my background, I'm in a new apartment. So now we're going to continue with the videos every single week. And uh, first thing first, we're going to start with Boros Burn, of course. So a uh, quick little note about uh, the modern metagame right now. I think Modern Burn is not seeing enough play for the good decks that are, that are in modern right now. I think Modern Burn has a pretty good matchup against a lot of the good decks being like is that Tempo with the uh, Murktide Regent. Um, there is also uh, black, red, mid-range Lurus, which is an okay matchup. I, I, I think it's like 50-50 or even a bit favored. Um, there's also a lot of creature matchups like Ragavan or Dragon Chandler, and we're running four Searing Blaze. Boros Burn is currently is uh, typically pretty good against like creaturey decks. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that I think Boros Burn is still a very good position, a very good deck if you want to pick, pick it up. Um, so for today's video, we're gonna play a very classic Boros Burn list, being four everywhere and a split of Skullcrack and Helixes. In our sideboard, we're running also a very classic uh, split, Path to Exile, Skullcrack, Rolling Vortex, and Smash. And we have all of these new cards. So as you can see, I'm running zero Core Fire Walker and zero Rest in Peace. The reason being is I have these three cards that are pretty much replacement for uh, six sideboard cards. Uh, it's second fire in Vec. It's a two mana two two protection from black and red. When it enters the battlefield, exile all red cards and black cards from all graveyard. So even our grave, but it doesn't really matter since we don't want the Luris that much. And uh, whenever a card, uh, it's like rest in peace effect. So it's going to continue to exile cards until the end of the game uh, when it's on the battlefield. So against the black red Luris, it's a very powerful card. Against uh, other red decks, it's an okay card. And against like a Mirror Bowl Bor Burn, for example, it's just a 2 2 that doesn't die. So it's not a core Fire Walker, but it's still a pretty good card to have uh, on the field. And I'm seeing a lot of uh, Hammer Time and like Merc Tide Regent, like I explained. So I think one Deflecting Palm is a pretty good uh, solution to that right now. And since I had another sideboard slot, I just decided to put a Luris in. I could decide to put like another Palm, but I think Luris is pretty good uh, in grindy uh, matchups. And there are a lot of grindy games right now in Modern. That's pretty much it for the list. If you enjoyed the video, please, please put a thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the league. I hope you enjoy. All right, round number one, Luris. And we're on the draw. Uh, this hand is fine to me, so let's keep. Bone is not laying a Luris. Bubble though, so maybe there are a uh, DRC deck. Yep, there probably is at uh, tempo. That's why I like having the four searing blades right now. I think it's pretty important. I think Ragavan is just an auto bolt. Um, let's get, just get the Ragavan out of the way. Hope I can draw like Adolon because Adolon is really good in the matchup. That's fine. So. I just searing blaze this since our Swiss beers are just going to get blocked. So they are the uh, Dread Horde Arcanist version. Um, when I was playing the deck, I was not playing Dread Horde Arcanist. I think it's okay, but uh, I prefer not to have them. Just like 12 Creatures version is pretty good. Or Ragavan for um, Merktide Regent and for uh, 
I'm dragging on his tra travel. Oh, So I think we just bold the regent here because they're going to need another creature and we're going to have Swiss spear on the field so bring our opponent down to 12. They have no threat at the moment. Three cards in hand. Okay. Okay. Uh, do they have another Murktide? Yep, just going. Okay, so we're going to go for um, Swiss Spear Bolt plus Bolt Charm. Or do we just wait and pass for now and crack the canyon? Uh, wait, because we don't want to attack. Actually, we can get in for six. Yeah, we're going to attack. Bring them down to three. Um, bringing them to th down to three is going to give us the opportunity to just top deck a bolt if they don't have a counter spell. Okay, pass turn for now. And if they don't have another creature or removal, they can't really attack here. Okay, so they decide to attack. Okay, idle one. Let's try to play the idle one. So they cannot cast any spell at cost three or less, so we can just pretty much win the game at this point. Well, I didn't have it for sure. If my opponent just passed turn, I couldn't attack with any creature, and I, I wasn't going to top deck a um, bolt for sure. And they could cast like Murktide, another Murktide to block. So in this matchup, we're going to bring uh, the path, the uh, deflecting palm. The, the palm is pretty much there for this matchup specifically. Uh, the uh, sanctifiers are fine in the matchup. It's not that great because they have a lot of blue spells, but it's not that bad either. Uh, I think we're just going to cut some Borsh Charms. And probably one uh, Revolt. Just really want to hold, like, kill the early creatures with our burn. Um, try to play the Idle one. Try to... Uh, also, uh, deny all their, their big stuff with our path to exile. That's a keep since we have a path, we have some early creatures. If they have like three, a, cre a three creature hand, our hand is pretty bad. But uh, other than that, it's not, it's fine. That's fine. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get a um, Andre here, play the guide. Hoping they won't get the uh, Delirium next turn. I don't really want to use a burn spell, but I think I will have to. The reason that this matchup is not that bad is because it looks a, li a lot like a Art like Phoenix, where uh, you can just get your um, your um, idle line on the play, and then you can just like basically uh, 
block your opponent because they have so many spells that cost like so many uh or draw like certain visions thought scour and stuff so they decide the block they decide i'm guessing they're going to try to get the delirium because they don't have an instant so i think at this point i'm just going to path but i do want to get my goblin guide around and i don't want them to draw a bolt so if they want to get a basic land they're going to get rid of the bolt so that's good for us So yeah, I could have done that before um, attacking to get in for an extra two, but I wanted to force my opponent to use the Thought Scour because if they did not go, if they not use the Thought Scour, uh, I could have just skewed the critics the DRC rather. Now I really hope they don't have uh, Merc Tide. Well, they cannot cast Merc Tide with a red in another land. Okay, so they can they can cast a Murtide now. Okay, DRC number two. And Murtide. Yep, that's annoying. So we do a Goblin Guide, it's not that great. Um, play the guide and the Swiss spear. Get in with everyone, and we make them draw two lines. I put made a mistake there. They blocked the goblin guide. So we're just going to kill this. So we're, we're going to have the control of the board. So down to eight. Um, I'm just go going to try to control the board. And this is like the only creature I cannot control with my burn spells. Oh my god, they just had another one. A bit annoying. And we keep drawing one drops, which is also annoying. Um, okay, so let's just play Lion Pass. We're going to crack this canyon, trying to get another path. This iteration. Get a bolt. We're gonna cast now. So we're in trouble. Um, my opponent had some pretty good draws and we kept drawing just one drop creatures which uh we don't want too much um yeah let's just block the ragavan probably gonna use the bolt on the guide here Oh, okay. So we still have a chance if they don't have a counter spell in hand. We could draw just like uh, helixes and stuff or a searing blaze and try to get them. But if they do have counter spell, I think we are going to lose this game. Another canyon and another land. We're, we have some pretty bad draws. Um. I'll just swing with both. 
Log, go to five. Uh, we're just going to try to kill them with double burn spells next turn. Hope they don't have counter spell again. But we got pretty unlucky with our pretty unlucky with our draws so far. And my opponent uh, needs like a dashing ragavan plus a bolt that would do it, or a double bolt. Pretty sure my opponent has like one counter spell in hand. So it's gonna be hard. We need to draw double bolt. Um and even if we draw that, we probably have one counter. Okay, so maybe they're going oh no, they have a tarn in hand, so but if they have a tarn and they have only one counter spell and we draw two burn spells means they cannot attack with both. They need to attack only with the Murktide. Oh, never mind. They drew... They got an un Unholy Heat. That means double burn spells unless they have a Spell Pierce or Force to, uh, does it. So, take seven. Yep, down to four. Drag this. Oh, the spike is number one. Oh my god. That's really unlucky draws. We drew a lot of lines and a lot of one drop creatures. Okay. So, on the play. I think I'm just going to cut one uh, Rift Bolt, uh, one skewer for one Rift Bolt. Not because I'm on the play, just because I'd rather have one Rift Bolt instead of one Skewer. Um, I don't think I want the Boar Charms. I didn't want to... I didn't... I think like Boar Charms probably better than these uh, Sanctifiers, but... I just want to try them out, so... I want to get an idle one also. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. We don't have a creature, which is annoying. Like, one creature would make this hand really, really good. But we have double Rift Bolt and a Blaze, and we have a uh, Palm if they have a Merc Tide, so that's pretty good. Okay, Goblin Guide is a pretty good top deck. Let's just suspend Rivable Pass. Okay, the main face on Holy Heat, which is weird. Okay. Pass turn. We're gonna hold this helix. Okay, so we got a five five which which we can deflecting palm. Um, so we're just gonna hold this palm, hope they don't have a counter spell, and try to hit them for five. Uh, they probably have a counter spell. I think I'm going, going to try it anyway. Um, sure. We're going to kill their... Oh, okay. So they use three cards for uh, one of my cards. That's totally fine. And they use Bolt, Abrade, and Unholy Heat. So 
Idle on is probably just going to survive and win me this win me this oh can speak win me this game <laughs> okay i'm going to hold the uh bloods and mire for my searing blaze and just pass for now unless they have another removal which is possible um pretty unlikely actually they're playing four bolts and four uh, unholy heat, so it's not that unlikely. Okay. So let's just lava spike your face. Pass turn for now. In response, we're going to we're going to blaze, and they need a spell pierce or uh, dispel, I guess. Let's get our double white if we have the um, as we have the sanctifier. And Bowen says GG. We're going to say GG. And yeah, I think this matchup is pretty good for us because well, usually. Burn against is it decks in general is pretty good just because of this card. But yeah, we have a lot of answers for their creatures early on, like Blaze and uh, Bolts. And then we can just like kill them with our burn spells. The only problem is this card, but we have three path, uh, one palm, and uh, this card, which like kind of stops it, but not really. <laughs> Just wanted to try it out. Uh, that's fine. Let's go straight up to round number two. All right, round number two. We're on the play. We're gonna draw Luris. and we have a one lander. Bowen's also playing Luris. We have a one lander, um, which is which is not very good. So let's just small. We have a one lander, which is better than the last one so let's try it um hope we can get our second land but even if we don't we still have like we can cast almost all of our hand so it's not that bad we've got a shadow spear so i'm guessing uh it's hammer time oh sunday canyon is very good for us That's it, just a spring leaf drum. If we got a land there, I think it would have been game. Just idle on turn two against hammer time is just really beating. But we didn't, so. Span a rift bolt pass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they also have a one lander. Let's uh, rift bolt the stun forge. Uh, swing the, with the guide. Last turn. Fortunately, um, no second land, but bolt is pretty good. So I think I'm just going to my turn. Another non-land, fortunately. Swing. Then two. Pass turn. We'll have to use a bolt for sure now. Yep, they're going to get like double hammer. Yeah. 
we just lose no matter what because if we bolt this in response we're going to play the second hammer and uh get in for 20. couldn't do anything we need to draw we needed to draw second line uh like on turn three maximum and we didn't so and okay so let's bring this black queen palm once again, we're going to cut the Boar's Charms. Um, hmm. What do I want to get them? Bullcrack is like fine as it do of, since they have some sort of life gain. Um, I think I'm just going to cut some, uh, some skewers. On the play, I like having idle ones. On the draw, I'm probably going to cut some of them though. Yeah, very unfortunate that we didn't get the second line because if we did, I think this game would just been out. Like turn two idle on would have made them lose like about eight lives, eight life. So just bolting their face, we had double lava spike. Um, would have been good. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna keep. Honestly, I think this game is, uh, since we're on the plate, this game is really in our favor. We have Path and Bolt um, on next turn. So, my opponent is a bit in trouble. We're just going to go face. Okay. Um, I think we'll just swing with both. Sure. Oh my god, there's a top deck of this. Okay. That's fine. We're just going to um Let them go to blocks. They, they block the correct creature, which is the guide. Um, and I do want to keep my bolt. I think I'm just going to um, play the idle one and uh, let my guy my guide go. It's not the end of the world. I still got in for two damage, and now they want to play this plus this. It's four, so that's kind of a big amount. Yep. Yep, 
Yeah, that's bad for us. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have to block, take 15, yeah, we can pass this guy. Um, but then this guy becomes a problem. And block, try to top deck a smash. I think that's our only chance. So, pass turn. We could also bolt this and just kill it for sure. Yeah, that's fine. That way we don't have to top deck smash. Yep, that's bad again. I don't think we're getting out this one. Yep, let's just concede. Okay, so my opponent had pretty good draws and uh, was just really fast both games. All right, so let's get around number three. Round number three on draw uh, with a lot of lines. So against Luris, I'm gonna mold this. I guess it's a Lurus deck, so they're probably going to have some creatures. Um, we're gonna keep, but it's really not that good. <laughs> Another hammer time, maybe? <clears throat> Okay, so let's hold this right away. Uh, pass turn. It was a bit buggy right now. Yeah, I'm guessing this isn't just another hammer time. Again, a little boggy. They just played this. Um, yep. All right. Okay. Uh, let's just Searing Blaze the Arnotopter right now. If I can tap for my base in the king. Okay. Turn. Okay, nothing. That's good. So let's just play Goblin Guide. 
Um, play this, swing. If they want to make a golem, that's fine. Uh, we're going to use the blaze if they play a creature. If they don't, we're just going to, um, to uh, crack the canyon. We're probably just going to play Blaze in response to uh, another artifact coming in, like this one. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I was afraid that the Marathon would play this exactly. Um, and because it is bugged again, <laughs> I didn't see them play it. So, but they did not have Metalcraft, so that's why it's just a 2 2 right now. So that's fine. Let's swing. Stop taking a Stoneforge. Fortunate. So I think I'm just going to kill the Paladin and put Loris into my hand. Okay. Uh, let's play the land, even though I know we could top deck potentially a uh, blaze, but that's fine. Now, th the question is do I play my idol on? I think I do. Just play my idol as a 2 2. And uh, if they want to cast spells, they're going to take two. And maybe just try to kill them with charm, one idol and trigger, plus another card. I think no matter what, this game is going to be pretty close. I do apologize for the, like, uh, the bugs from MTGO, it's really like uh, weird. Okay, so they put Loris into their hand and that's it. Sure. So let's just swing with the guide. Nah. I think it just... They're going to play the Lurus, take two, and then we can just try to build like another burn and win from there. We'll pass turn, play Boris Charm plus Cracks and Bacanian. I mean, if they decide to bring back anything, they're just dead. Uh, any burn spell, so. They have to be careful, and they have silent clearing, so they can't even, they cannot even bring back a paladin or giver. They can bring back Ernatopter if they want to. Yep. Down to seven. Okay. 
Okay, the top deck aligned. That's good. Okay, so they bring back the Paladin, so we can just Power Charm and win the game. We're going to well, we're going to win top deck double boar charm, so that's good. Okay, so once again, I'm going to bring back to bring in a uh, smash calm um, path, even like two skull cracks. Uh, on the draw, though, I'm going to cut some idle ones, more cracks, got some charms, and. Probably just got a Swiss beer. On the draw, like our one drops are really less powerful. I didn't think about that, but Rolling Vortex actually got bad in this matchup. Uh, yeah, I forgot about it uh, in round number two, but Rolling Vortex is pretty good in this matchup since they have a lot of zero drops thing. Maybe like cut two skull cracks. No, too late. Okay. Like it, it's going to prevent the life gain, and if they have zero drops, thing going to hurt them a lot. That's a pretty bad hand. Small. Okay, that's way better. Let's keep. Uh, probably just put the spike to the bottom. Bonus mulligans to five. Silent Clearing, very good for us. Esper Sentinel, sure. It's only non-creature spells, right? Yep. Yo, a Goblin Guide is fine. And Knight, okay. No attacks, interesting. Um, let's go for Blaze the Sentinel. They can draw a card. So I guess they're just two for two. Uh, no, they cannot. They did not two for one me because Searing Blaze is already a two for one in our deck. So it's like an equal. Oh, okay. They just concede. Sure. Oh, we're going to draw. Oh, pretty good cards. All right, uh, we we got beaten by Hammer Time, and now we're on the winning edge. So let's go to round number four. All right, so here we are on round number four. We're on the draw again, playing again against a Lurus opponent. So once again, I think I'm going to try this really sketchy hand. Three Searing Blaze, like. It's actually not that bad against a Lurus deck, but it's really missing that the one drop that can use um, a, a cleared board on my opponent's side. So, they don't have a lot of things to, that they can take here. So I think we're playing against... Uh, Black, red, like Lurus uh, mid range with Dante and uh, Dragon Rage Chandler. Right, take the Helix. I think that's the best choice. Oh my god. That's just a joke at this point. 
<laughs> okay. Which card do you want, opponent? I'm really happy to take the Thoughts is trade for a Blaze. Really happy. Fun to the title one. Or another two drop that is not is something I can cast. I'll I'll take that. I'll take that. Opponents being very patient, which is the right play, right way to play with my hand. My hand just punishes like them flooding the board with creatures. Killing guide is pretty good. Well, they have seal of fire. <laughs> Okay, Bolt is pretty good. Okay. Question is, do I use double searing blaze on my opponent's lures or just one? I think I'm gonna use both. I just want to empty out my hand. Never mind, I'm, I'm going to play um actually. I'm just going to pass. Because I want them to use the seal of fire on my face and wanting to cast the seal of fire again. They use it on my face in response, I'm just gonna kill the Lurus. Now I can use Tilt Searing Blaze on both creatures. Okay, double idle one's pretty good. Um, means I can just cast both. 
and one of them is going to survive. Now, do I want to do that right now? Or just put Larissa into my hand? I think I'm just going to put Larissa into my hand. Pass the turn. Take command. Sure. Uh, they brought back Loris. Okay. I think I'm just going to discard idle on here. So are they going to bring back Ragavan? So close, yet so far. Since now the lure is going to gain some life, that's rather annoying. So I think we have to play Lurus and bring Golden Guide back and not swing block there so that their, their Lurus won't be able to attack and hope they don't have a removal spell. And that K command was really good. Uh, it doesn't matter because now they can just seal a fire and bring back the seal of fire. I think no matter what, we couldn't do anything. We really needed to draw a land or a way to remove the Luris in our top deck. Now we need to draw a skull crack or a land to kill the Luris or just prevent the life gain at the least. On Regavan, don't uh, don't do it to me. Oh, we got a skull crack on top. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Another still fire is really annoying. Land. Okay. And searing blaze, the Luris. Now we have to. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? Because even if we play out one, they just do that. But uh, we couldn't do anything because Lurus would have gained life. So I think no matter what, we were we couldn't get out of this one. So yeah, let's just do it. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think we had a way to uh, to win this one. Okay, so all of those. Um, let's just got some uh, charms, I guess. I 
think I'm just gonna cut this crack this call cracks. I don't think they're very good. Like they they just beat Luris, but that's the, about it. I think like Borstrom's just more powerful burn spell. Really, really would, would like to drop this guy, this girl, rather. He looks like really good in the matchup, like they have literally zero way to kill it and we just exile all of their cards, <laughs> like so good. We got one, but the question is, are we going to be, able to be able to cast it? Like, if the Inquisition or Thought sees us turn, turn one. Sad. We just have to dodge one discard spell. And I think this on turn two can actually make us just win the game. Come on, no discard spell. Oh, this card spell. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Have fun dealing with this. We're going to exile our graveyard as well, but uh, it doesn't really matter since our graveyard is really less important than their graveyard. So play Swiss Spear. Let's bolt Dante. Swing for four. Turn. I forgot about this card. It's so good. Yep, that's one way they can remove it. Yep, that's really unfortunate. But I think they only have like two in their deck. Uh, do I pad the Ragavan? I think the answer is no. I'm just gonna let that go. Oh, they just hit a land. 
idle one. I don't think they want to cast an idle one. Uh, so we're just going to go face with the Rift Bolt. Uh, let's swing. Pretty sure they have a removal, so I'm not going to go all in on this attack, even though I know they could just, um, I could just go path and Rift Bolt and for lethal. But I, I don't think it's necessary since they could clearly have one push. And if I, yeah, I don't think it's, we have to rush. We have a path. We can just top deck with some Bikini, oh, top deck with some Bikini and another burn spell and win the game. I think this time I'm going to path this guy just they don't get a helix or bolt or whatever something to remove my Swiss spear Okay, so we have two chance to draw burn uh, or just a removal spell. Oh. Okay. We draw another creature, that's good. Okay. Uh, so they have, I have to attack here. Make them unlock. Play uh, the second one, the game. Dial the Dragon and Chandler faster. You need to have exactly another prismatic ending. I think it's literally the only card that stopped this in their deck. And I'm not sure, but I think they're only playing two, so. My opponent just conceded. Okay, very good. Um, on the draw, I'm gonna cut some idle ones. Probably just two. Bring back uh, something like this. Don't want to draw like too many idle ones on the draw since they could have a very aggressive hand um, with this scourge of the skyclaves. And if I have like three idle ones in my hand, um, it's just going to be a big, big. Beat down for my opponent. 
So I think just two is fine. Yeah, I forgot that they were playing Prismatic Ending. Um, like I thought my creatures were just going to survive until the end of the game. Um, that did not happen. <laughs> But it's still very, very powerful because if they don't have the Prismatic Endic, um, it literally exiles every good card in from their grave, except Mishra's Bubble. And they have so many like synergy with the graveyard, with Delirium and stuff. And I don't, I don't know if this list is playing Kroxa, but Kroxa is also in some of those lists. It's a pretty risky hand, um, but we do have like all of this and even Blaze. If we draw a cycle line, it's pretty good. And I, I don't like to mulligan against some uh, discarding decks, and I think it's not that bad, so let's try it. Sure. Nice. We drew the second land. We're just going to bolt this and pass. Actually, that was a small mistake. I I should have probably just bolted at the combat stat because if they have a second one, they can dash it. Um. So yeah, I hope they don't have a second one. <laughs> Please don't punish me. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. We don't have a we don't have a creature right now in our hand. Uh, we're just gonna pass, and this time we're gonna do we're gonna do it the right way. I think I'm going to fetch for another foundry here. Um, just in case I top deck uh, Sanctifier. Okay, that's fine. We have the path for that. Line would be good here. Guide is not really good. So let's just uh, suspend a revolt and pass. Probably is gonna use a path. Yeah, line would have been good. I could have suspended double rift bolt. Um, my opponent would have been pretty low on my next turn. I I would still want to draw line so that way I can suspend revolt and hold a uh, skull crack or bore charm. Okay, we're just gonna discard the golden guide. Another path is not a bad top deck. Question is, do we want to? I think I'm just going to bore storm them. 
uh, probably discard the skull crack and we're going to path the cruxa okay they didn't, they didn't get a fetch land so we're good Okay, that's the card we're going to discard. Let's just pass turn. And if they use a fetch, they're just dead. Also, they need to get exactly a Bloodstained Mire because they are playing Black Fetches. So, if they want to get a Red Source, they need Bloodstained Mire. And just playing Lurus Pass is just very bad. Doesn't do anything. I don't know what's going on in their hand, but... Uh, they need to make a turn. Your, their turn better than just Lurus Pass. Maybe they just have a lot of removal. Uh... Which is good for us because we just literally had we drew one guide and they had a seal of fire, so just discard that. Okay, so just let us go. Okay, so we're just going to skull crack them when, when they attack. So the only card, um, no, never mind, because I'm going to skull crack. I was going to say the only card that saves them is Helix, but since I'm going to skull crack, they won't be able to gain any life, so they're just dead. And they got my land. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They wanted to kill their own Dragon Traveler, which, by the way, doesn't work because Sering Blaze is double target. But at the same time, they got the Delirium, so it didn't work anyway. So, yeah. All right, let's go to our final round. All right, round number five. We're on the play this time. And... Baller, let's go. Let's do it. No fear, no fear. Let's do it. I mean, it's pretty risky, but if the guy lives or if we draw a second land, we're good to go. If the guy gets pushed or whatever and we don't draw a second land, well, sad. Sad times. Oh, prismatic ending. Oh, pitting Neil. Okay. What is going on? That shock pitting needle. Did you really need to pitting needle 
was like the two lives you lost worth it for whatever you're going to name? Yeah, it, whatever. Let's suspend a Riv Bolt before they play the Tef and pass. Hope I can draw second line so next turn I can go for like either um, Double Skewer or Eidolon or just Borstrom. Okay, we're playing against Top Tier Foundry. Pretty bad matchup for us. Very unfortunate. I mean, if we just got that second line, I think this game would have been really easy, but... Magic wants to make things hard for us. Okay, finally. So let's just swing. They're going to make some top turns to block. And we're just going to um, bolt plus skewer and hope they don't have a force of negation. And if they do, we're going to cry. Nice. Okay, so. Bowling Vortex, Skullcrack, Smash. Um, let's cut some Helix. Let's cut some Blaze, at least two. They didn't see Emery, but they're probably playing Emery and Urza. Let's just cut the Blaze for now. Um, we're gonna see next game how many they're running, how many creatures they're running. I'll just start with that. Not that great. Not a lot of pressure. But I like having the smash to kill one top tier foundry. Um, it's on the really on the low side of hands. Dr. Foundry, yes! Yes! Boom. Bye bye. Adolin was a really good top deck, by the way. It means that even if they have counter spell, um, 
they're going to take some damage and now a lot of their cards cost throw less which is very good and now we have lethal went really smoothly <laughs> usually it's a bit harder to win against top their foundry but uh that was very very good all right a little 4-1 let's go for a small wrap up with the uh, boros burn all right so small wrap up i think uh like i said at the beginning boros burn is a pretty good position right now i don't know why more people are not playing the deck since it's very good against a lot of the best decks right now and yeah, that's pretty much it. I really enjoyed playing this card. Um, I think Palm could be another another addition. Like maybe a second Palm could be pretty good. Uh, just because we saw a lot of cards that wanted to get, to get Palmed. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please a little thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in another video. See ya. Bye-bye, guys.